Kristen Whip Nerdette's new stand, and there's a couple, um, specifically three things I want to talk about in this video. First off, there was a petition created. Now, these have been ineffective so far. We haven't really seen much change from WB when it comes to Aquaman 2 and such. But you know what? I'm going to put it in the pinned comment. Um, and thank you for sending it to me simply because it can't hurt, right? I would love to head back to the theaters and see Aquaman 2. But if Amber Heard is cast as Mera, there is absolutely no way will I and thousands of other people pay their hard earned money to see that. But now we do have this petition started. Mind you, we had one before to remove her. And then we had one um, to have Amelia Clark replace her. But even so, what's it going to hurt? So I'll put that in the pinned comment if you want to check that out. Now, um, yesterday I talked about Kate James. And I did get sent these. So thank you very, very much. You guys are seriously the best. But um, I went through these papers. And I covered a lot of it yesterday when it came to the article about how she um, basically used and abused her assistant who worked for her for three years. Um, and she also did mention in these forms that uh, she never saw any of these violent outbursts from Johnny that were so prevalent. Um, and someone made a good point yesterday. So I was talking in my video about how she mimicked his style. And I said I thought maybe it was a bit of an obsession. But um, someone made a point that it was mirroring him. And actually, I never even considered that. The more you mirror someone, these it's a very manipulative tactic these women do to get you to fall for them. Which leads me right into my next point going through these papers. This lady, so Kate James, um, her personal assistant for, you know, years, had a son. Um, she was a single mother. She was looking for a, you know, part-time job, which is how this started out. Um, that's not even the point. What the point is, is we saw the manipulation with the mirroring of his style. This takes it just completely a step further in the most disgusting way. So he was four years old at the time, this little boy. And um, basically what happened is... I'll read it to you. It says, Amber obviously knew I had a young son at the beginning and would ask me if I could bring him to her apartment so that she could bake cookies with him. Now, right off the bat, when I first read that, I was like, oh, that's cute. You know, she wants to help out. She wants to, you know, make this kid feel special. Nope. No, 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 no. Not even a little bit. Um, I thought this was very strange, but sweet at first. However... I then realized that she was taking photos with him, which honestly she should have asked permission first, but Amber, we know, is completely entitled. And you know, that that that's not even in her repertoire of thought. So she goes on to say, um, she was taking these photos with him almost as a prop, and then she would send them to Johnny. I felt as though I was being used by Amber to portray herself as having maternal attributes. Now this is, this girl, I have never heard of a girl that could, you know, manipulate a man so much, so much so that she copies his style, she mirrors it, um, and now she's trying to make herself look like she's got the maternal touch that most, most women I would say are born with, but sometimes it's not. Um, I, I myself am extremely maternal, but these, some women just aren't, and especially as they get younger, I'm, I'm older. But a lot of these um, women just don't want kids. You know, they just don't. And that's okay. Everyone's allowed to have their own thing. But um, she's using this little boy, this little four-year-old boy, to use as a prop for photos. Like, what? <laughs> How much more manipulation can you get? For one, it's disgusting to ever use a child as anything like that. And for two, it's psychotic. Like, I, I, I can't even imagine... Wanting somebody so bad, and the reason I say she wanted him so bad is not because she loved him. It's simply because, at least in my opinion, of course everyone is different, it is because she wanted, she loved the things that came with Johnny Depp. The um, designer clothes, the recognition, the um, seeing by the media. And now we know so much more because she's got that L'Oreal contract, which is literally making her millions. And L'Oreal hasn't said a thing about it. And obviously Aquaman 
right now when you are put into a superhero movie, you are set. Like everybody's going to know you. So I thought this was completely, completely disgusting. And then it goes on even further to say, not only did she start out by using the little kit to take pictures and send to Johnny, when the tabloids would come around, she would do the same thing. For one, a child of that age should never, ever be around, you know, a manipulative person like that. But a tabloids, that kind of, you know, culture, it, I can't even imagine. Like, you are garbage. Um, another thing I really wanted to address in this was yesterday she, in the article that I had read, I talked about, you know, she had said that she had used MDNA and ecstasy. Right. Okay. Everyone has used party drugs once in their life. That I don't care about. The thing that is very weird to me is um, she goes on to say that she had been prescribed a medication called Provigil. And if you know anything about Provigil, it is an um, uh, amphetamine. So it is similar to Ritalin or Adderall. It is an upper. It is, it's, you know, prescription cocaine in a, in a way. Now, if it's used for the right reasons, if you actually have ADHD and those kind of things, it can be a lifesaver. I've even seen it used in um, uh, post-stroke patients that um, have extreme depression and they're different people. So this is a good drug when it's used correctly. When it is used incorrectly, it is um, it can make you into a different person. I've seen people on Adderall become violent. I've seen people on these kind of medications become absolutely delusional and deranged because they will stay up for days, literal days, and then become just, a, you know, a shadow of who, who they used to be. So um, a lot of this is kind of making sense. So she abused her provigil. She um, basically took it way more than prescribed. Um, and even, at, I don't know much about Amber's medical history. Obviously, there's HIPAA laws and all that stuff. So, um, I don't know if she honestly needed it or not. So, I won't even go as far to say that. But she does, Kate James does mention that she abused this medication. Now, let's add another one. And um, this medication, when used in small quantities, can be very beneficial to people. It's a medication called Accutane. Now, um, a lot of times they won't give this to women of that age simply because um, it can cause serious birth defects. Not only that, it can cause stillbirth. Um, you have to, have to be on some type of birth control, whether it's a pill or Depo-Provera or I IUD, something like that. This medication is serious business. Not only is it serious, but you're only supposed to take it for short lengths of time because of the side effects that it caused. And I bet you can already guess what I'm going to say. It causes anger and rage and delusion. Now, two weeks a month, you're, you're gonna be fine with Accutane. It is a wonder drug when it comes to clearing up acne, clearing up skin. It really does work well. If you take it for months, years, even longer, it can have serious damning, damaging side effects to your psyche so not only was she you know on accutane for way longer than she should have been because you know i am pretty sure at that at that level of celebrity status you can go to the doctor and be like you know what i think i'll take this and i'll take this and i'll take this which is completely wrong but let's be real those kind of things happen so she was on accutane combine that with adderall i can or i'm sorry provigil say very close to the same medication but um you are going to get serious damaging side effects. And then when you abuse it on top of that, um, all of this makes sense. When um, Kate James said that, you know, she didn't even feel like she could hear her. She would have these bouts of rage. Those are classic side effects of this medication. So I'm really, really surprised that they would combine them, let alone let her, you know, have extensive amounts or longer than the current duration. So... Yeah, the, these um these papers that I've been looking through are very damning to Amber. And you know what? I don't care. She deserves it. But I just wanted to let you to cover what I had it yesterday. And I will put the link for my complete playlist for the Johnny stuff um in the description. But yeah, this this is something else. This is all shaping up to make a whole 
whole lot of sense. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Hey guys, I want to give a huge shout out to my subscribe star and Patreons. You guys literally make this channel possible. Black Knight Fool, Brucey, Chris C, Dave Ross, David L, Jeffrey Allen Carnes, Sanjuro, Jeremy Burtz, Joe Bustify, Kato Roan, Magical Exotic Diamonds, Mighty Pauls, Mike Buckner, Robert, Steve Glasker, Timothy French, Alice Matt Films, Alexander Trapp, Way Else One, and Troy Riser. You guys are absolutely amazing, and I want to say thank you to each and every one of you. Don't forget to subscribe and like on the way out, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.